Hello everyone, welcome back to my knitting podcast, the Full Bloom Knitting Podcast. This is episode 3. I really want to say thank you to everyone who left beautiful and supportive comments on my previous episode. And let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you on my first my finished objects is the top I'm wearing. It's my Mazarina um, top or tee top from Caitlin Hunter. And I knitted it with um, Naughty Habits merino and linen um, base. And this gold color is gold dust and this is cobblestone. So we'll stand up. So I did the the pearl pearl dots in the body and on the sleeves and it's a crop length it's just a couple of centimeters below my natural waist and yeah, I really like how it turns out there you can see yeah I'm very happy with it and it's very comfortable it gets a little bit warm because it's the it's the hottest time of the year here in South Africa now but it's very comfortable to wear and it's very soft with the floats in the, in the, on the inside. So that's my first finished object. My second finished object I don't have with me. I did give it away as a gift and I will put pictures on it. It was my showography show. So I did finish it. I just, just decided to just finish it because otherwise I won't I will never look at it again so yeah it's done I'll put pictures of it on screen Um, I did use a more like a heavy sport DK um, weight yarn so it was a bit big and it's definitely heavy it's almost 800 grams so it's a bit so it's, it's a heavy heavy shawl but it's very comfortable it's, and definitely a schlanket of a shawl so yeah, that's done and I'm very happy it's done. It was a bit, it was a big project. So yeah, next up is my shift cowl by Andrea Maori. There you see, yeah. It's very nice. I'm trying to put it on now. Just going to take it off directly. So, it's like this. I really like the folds here. And the, the color work is very nice. You see. Yeah. So I used KPS, our tribe. The, the darker colorway in the background here is Lila Bjorn. And then the light colorway here in the background is Simi. And then the bumps here is Cypress Textiles. So yeah. I think it's going to be a nice warm cowl for the winter. So yeah. My next finished object is a... We did a cast on party at the yarn room. I can't remember the date. It was in December. It was after November. But yeah. And at the yarn room... Um, the design is called the Shoreline Shawl and it's by You Are Knits. I will link the pattern down below. And I used, that's how it looks, I used um, Nurturing Fibers, Echo Lush, yeah, Echo Lush, and the, the pink colorway, that one, is Karua Lands. And then this one is Vanilla. It has a very beautiful um, lace pattern at the end and it's a very um, interesting shape like that <laughs> yeah 
So the edges curl, this edge curls up like that, and then I added tassels at the bottom. So I think you can just just wear it like this. Yeah, it's like that. So yeah, it's definitely a summer shawl to keep you just a bit warm when the wind is chilly. It's not going to help very much in the winter. So that's the Shawl Lawn Shawl by Yuan Knits. And the costume party was hosted by Jennifer from The Yarn Room. And I also bought the yarn from Jennifer. So yeah. Um, that's all my finished objects. I have knitting related finished objects, but it's not knitted. <laughs> so yeah. Maybe I can show that so long. First up is this. So I made a needle case with the yarn, ugh, the fabric I showed you last time. So yeah, let me just, so it has a tie, which you just open like this. And you fold open like that. So here I have my knitting needles, my Knit Pro Symphonies. There, the ones that are empty are the ones that are currently um, have do currently have a project on them. Then I have a tab there in the middle where I can put my stitch markers on, and I have a clear acrylic pocket here to put my um, cables in and other notions. And then in the the middle here, ooh, it's difficult to show. Here, I have a zip pocket where I can put the bigger stuff like my scissors and my needle gauge and um, stitch gauge. So yeah, it's, I am really loving it. And I put some, let me show you like this. I added felt here, the on the side which touched the needles just to protect it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with this and it was actually a very fast project. I just, I went to look at other um, needle cases and saw what I, what I liked about them. And then I made something up along the way. So yeah. I really like the, the, um, linen, linen effect actually, it's very raw type, type of fabric and then it just has a tie that I can make a tie or close it up with. Okay, next is I made a project bag. So this one's the last one I made, I will show you the other ones. This one's the smallest one I made so far. So it's a, it has a zip at the top with a little pocket in the inside and then I added a strap so that you can put it on your hands and then you can walk and knit or do anything. It's just easier to knit with or to, it's just a easy um, bag if you want to knit socks. It's small enough for socks, maybe two pairs of socks. And I added corners just for some durability. Okay, this this next one is my first first bag I made project bag that I made. Um, it's like this. So it's a bigger bag with peach colored fabric, and then. Will, will enemy number one <laughs> um, insects so moths um, dragonflies and flowers and smaller flies and I think there's the butterflies as well so I have a faux leather strap here and I have a tab 
at the side where I can put stitch markers on for decoration. Okay, so in this bag I do have a a whip. So I'm not going to sh I'm not going to sh oh maybe I should. No, I'll wait till later when I do the whips. But it's a drawstring closure here, and then in our inside I do have pockets all around on the inside. So there's enough storage in there, and you just pull it close like that, and then you have a project, back. and I have a project back like this. So yeah, this is my this is my mom's favorite. She wants one. So that's, I'm not going to give her mine. I will make her another one. So yeah. Then my third project bag. Yes, third project bag is a big one. It's this. It's I um, took a bucket bag um, pattern from Pearl Soho. I'll link it down below and follow it. Followed it roughly, but didn't do it precisely like that. But yeah, it has a round bottom, bloop, and then pockets all around, like that, and then a leather strap, and also a drawstring top. And I'll, I have my my naughty habit sock cooler in here, so it's a, it fits a lot of stuff. Okay, inside is my um is my cardigan from Caitlin no 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 Mary Wallen is my from Mary Wallen I haven't done anything to it but it's big enough to keep all the yarn or hold all the yarn for that project in here so that's why it's in there yeah so yeah this one so it's a very large one it's like <laughs> it won't even fit on the camera like that yeah. I was contemplating on putting not cardboard but stiff interfacing in the circumference of this bag. But then if I you know otherwise it would be too big. So this is full to the brim. But I don't want it to be that tall all the time. So that's why I didn't put interfacing there. I did put the interfacing at the bottom just to help support that. So yeah, that is my my project bags that I made. And it was very quick for me. It's a quick project just to knit a bag. Ah, oh, to knit a bag, to sew up bags. So yeah. Um, I have a half finished object, which is part of the a test knit that I'm doing for Ksenia from Life is Cozy. And it's the Venetian mittens. Put on one. I haven't I haven't done the other one, but the requirements for the test net is to finish the one by 31st of December. So I did that. I just need to weigh it and determine how much I yarn I used. So yeah. It's a very beautiful. And it has a very snug fit around the palm which is very nice sometimes you know, I don't always like how mittens fit but this mitten is perfect and there's little like bubbles and then textured and then it's knit it's a rib all around and it has a thumb um, opening or section so yeah the yarn I used is Miss Lamotte in her lofty, lofty ply base, and it's the abalone colorway. So there you go. It's very beautiful. So I have an abalone shell just right here. So I will show you the inspiration for the colorway. <laughs> there. Like that part there. I think that's the inspiration. There you can maybe see it. It's a bit blown out by the sun. But yeah, 
so it's a mother of pearl type of um, look so it's like a light blue base see light blue base with then green pink and darker blue speckles in between you can actually see it very well in the mitten itself here So, and it's very, it's very comfortable. I just need to make the other one, and it's very fast as well. Um, yeah, I really like it. Okay, doke. So that's my whole finished object. So now we're going to talk about my whips. Mm, where to start? I have too many stuff actually. Okay, but this whip in my project bag, I'm going to call this my moth bag. Because of, of all the moths, the big moth, small moth. <laughs> and then um, the big one I'm going to call like rain, my rain bag because it has like raindrops on it. Let me show you again. Like that. It has raindrops on it. Um, I do have left of this so I can make another smaller bag like this one but I don't want everything to be the same I like different so I'm still deciding on the the um, the shape of the bag okay I had to um, free up some space on the sim card so it cuts out there but I'm back now okay so my first web that I'm busy with is the province top by the cozy nest or a cozy nest and it's a top of lace this is the back so it has lace like that and then um so you you start at the bottom and you work the rib work the body up and then split for front and back and then you work it the front and back flat with the lace and in the front it will be like a v-line yeah something like this so i'm very excited the yarn i'm using for this is a bamboo yarn it's venice colors serena 100 percent bamboo viscose and it's the lilac colorway so there's the name, Serena, and then the color, lilac. So yeah, that is my first whip. So it's going fast because you're using 4mm needles, um, so it's a quick knit. And I really like lace. It's very in intuitive for me. If I learn the pat the the small pattern, it's usually like repeats in a row. So if I learn that small pattern, I can work through it very quickly. Okay, um, this whip I showed in my first video, I'm still not done with it. It's taking a bit longer, but I did do, did knit some couple of rows. Now everything is tangled. Okay. Um, this is the straw flower shawl. Sorry, it's like that. Maybe this will work. Yeah. Straw flower shawl by Ksenia from Life is Cozy. Oh, I think it's going to be beautiful. So the purple here I'm using is Nurturing Fibers Echo Lush. It's the same as the straw, no, the shoreline shawl I showed earlier and the lilac colorway so I'm loving the light purple lilac colors this year and then mohair from African Expressions Hope so yeah I'm using that and it's a very textured and stripy shawl I'm almost done I've, you know, 60% they are. Next whip is also a Life is Cozy um, project. I did show the yarns I bought through it last in last video. 
my second episode and it's the Viva Cami oops it's yeah the Viva Cami which is a strappy top sh yeah sh um sleeveless top with stripes I didn't I don't have a lot of progress so it's a bit difficult to show but yeah that's the one point there like that and the yarn I'm using is um, uh, Karua Moon Unique Moon which the, and those colors doesn't have a color number color name but it's a light pink and beige gray yeah, there you can see it a bit in the shadows so, so it's going to be something like this <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's a bit, it's not difficult, it's just taking a bit longer because you're using um, 2.75, 2.75 millimeter needles, so it's a bit smaller gauge. So yeah, that's my current whips and half objects, so um, half your half objects, the Venetia mittens. So now I'm going to show you the, my yarn acquisitions. Um, some of these yarns that I, I'm going to show you, I did buy them myself and others I got, um, I was gifted by them. I was gifted them by my mother. So yeah. Okay, first up, um, I bought these for, I think they're 15. I'm not sure if they're 50 grams or 25 grams. I can't. Um, what's the word? Guess weight that well. Um, so yeah. So I bought these. So these are the John Auburn Knit by Numbers um, yarn. And I can't remember in which category that they were, but these are two gray, a darker gray and a lighter gray, like that. And then the mauvey purple pink, darker one and lighter one. So what I'm planning is to do the salbu cowl from Knitting Traditions. And I'm going to do a fade like this. So the ribbing in the background with the grey and then the pattern with this one. But I'm going to start um, the darker one at the bottom for example and end with the lighter one at the top. But then with the pink, the darker one at the top and the lighter one at the bottom like that. It's going to, so it's going to, the pink will fade that way and the grey will fade that way. So yeah, I think this will look very nice. Um, okay, next, oh, those yarns I bought from um, Mariki from Colors of Amalfi. I will link her shop down below. Um, next up, I already took it out of the bag, but I got this, another John Auburn. So this is the Alpaca Delightful Ply Fingering Weight. So I got three skeins of these. Yeah, and it's the uh, the white, the white colorway. But it's more of a off white than a true white. So it's very soft. And Mariki had an example of the Kyla shawl. I can't remember the designer's name, but I'll put it down below. Um at at the at her so she she and Naughty Habit has simultaneous pop-up shops every um, month and I got it from there and she showed her color shawl she made with the Apalka Delight and it, it looked very very beautiful and I want to try it with that as well and I think having a um, white or off-white color shawl will with a lot of um, garments or um, outfits because 
as you, I do have a lot of color colorful shawls, which is difficult to pair with a lot of um, outfits. But yeah, I'm very excited for that. This one I bought from Hatlam. Here's a tag, Hatlam. So this is the Nomad base in fluff. So yeah, the colorway is mist, and it's a DK. So I think the Nomad is the fiber content, and the weight is the fluff. So fluff, so Nomad or Swerver is 62% alpaca, 19, 20% wool, 10% silk, and 8.4% nylon. And it's a double knit, and the colorway is mist. So I asked Michelle from Hatlam what pattern she would suggest for this yarn. And she sent me a couple of examples and I really like the minted beanie from um, Andrea Maori. And so I bought this this one, this minted. And I already had a pom-pom, the toft pom-pom, this fluffy thing. So they say it's 100% alpaca made in Peru. So yeah, I'm going to make the minted um, beanie with this one. So yeah, so those are the yarns I bought this month myself. I'm sorry if this sounds a bit bright. Maybe if I just a little bit close, close. Okay, I think that's a bit better. So the the next yarns um. I got gifted by my mother. Um, first up, um, she bought me some Echo Fusion, Nurturing Fibers Echo Fusion in the vanilla colorway, white. I want to make the. Oh, I can't remember it. Mm -hmm. It's Petite Knits, famous. Famous. Um, top I'll put a picture I put the picture and the name of the pattern up and I really liked these colors so yeah those so she got me enough for that for a summer top it's not a um, long sleeve next up my mother went to the alpaca loom um, I'm not sh quite sure in which area in the cape it is here it's between Cape Town and Wooster near Paul so in Paul I think so yeah so she went there um, and she bought me some DK weight she said it's, yeah it, it said it's the DK weight your apple and it's like chocolate brown colorway and she got me uh, eight balls. She got me eight balls of these, um, which is enough to make the Hold Me Close wrap top from Life is Cozy. So I think that will look very nice. It will look, I'll be wrapped up in chocolate. <laughs> so yeah, and then, oops, through my ball, through my yarn. She got me some other yarn. They didn't have enough for, of the same color. So she got colors that she think will work together. Okay. So she got me, oh, let me show you the tag first. Concept Katya, Concept by Katya. Cotton Cashmere in this, this colorway. I think this is the mauve colorway. This is the mauve colorway, and then she got me the peach colorway as well. So she got me four of these and three of these, and together they're enough to make a sweater. So I had a look around at the tops that I think will work, and I found one. 
who I can't remember the designer's name, but the top is the tile, the tile top. I think it's boho knits, boho chic knits, if I'm not mistaken. But I put the name of the designer, everything on screen. I think that will look nice. It's very subtle. Let me show you together. Subtle difference. So hopefully it won't. Um, what's the word? Blend. Um, get muddy, if, if that's the word. But yeah. What, what else? What else? Okay. I got cut off there again. Um, almost forgot about these. So my mother bought these from Little Yarn Craft. And it says, it's sweet skeins. Sweet skeins. Sweet skeins. Sweet skeins. Not sure how to say that. I think it's like tomato, tomato type of thing. But yeah, sweet skeins. Um, planning to make a shawl with this. Haven't decided on it yet, but I put the picture of my main, the top, top one I want, or want to make. Um, it is a sock blend, 15% kit mohair, 15% mulberry silk, 50% merino, 20% polyamide, and the colorway is orchard, like that. And then we have this one, it's the same sock blend, and it's Dijon, like mustard, but it has lighter there, almost white, and then the pink speckles in between. I think they work, they look very nice together. So, I think maybe one of um, Life is Cozy shawls will work for this. So yeah, I think that's all of that. Yeah, so what else can we talk about? My knitting plans for the rest of the year, I think, is to finish the Venetian mittens and the two tops, the province top and the Viva Cami. And then maybe in January, oh, and also my straw flower shawl. So the mitten, two tops, and the straw flower shawl. Hopefully, I can do that. <laughs> And then um, maybe do one of the other tops I talked about in my second episode. The um, Sunkiss top and the Shaobela, 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 Shaobela top as well. Okay, so I think that's all that I want to show. Um, I want to tell, talk about a bit of the knitting podcast I actually would like to watch. First up is Knitting Traditions. And she, she actually inspired me to start doing the podcast as well. Um, um, Natalie from Knitty Natty. Hers are very cute as well. She's doing Vlogmas this year, so it's very nice to see um, real-time stuff. Um, then, Crea Bayan Knitting, um, Skeins of Dreams, Black Spruce Knitting Podcast as well. Yeah, those are my five top um, podcasts I like to listen to. And watch right now they're very inspirational for me uh, it was so inspira inspiring to watch um, Rebecca from Crea Bea and Mia from um, I did say it Skins of Dreams to um, swap yarn oh it was very fun I really want to try that we are so far away from everybody else here in South Africa and our postal service isn't the very best. So if something is sent to us, we will probably get it in five years. Or even if, if we get it. But yeah. Um, yeah, I, it's very inspiring to see everyone knitting and 
that community so I'm very happy to be part of that as well so yeah I think that's everything I really want to say thank you to everyone watching again and I hope you have a wonderful festive season and um, a happy new year I will see you in end of January next week next year next week next year um, but yeah it's almost end of 2021 this year flew by so fast for me I want to say thank you and have a wonderful festive season and yeah yeah thank you for everyone bye bye